it's very few people are unaware that we've got increasing numbers of antibiotic resistant bacteria and fewer and fewer effective treatments. So our work to understand how bacteria become resistant and then use this as a basis for drug discovery is, is very important. We're really trying to develop new ways of testing in high throughput new molecules or natural products that would have activity against bacteria. The main focus of my team is understanding how bacteria become resistant to antibiotics and we work in two particular areas. Uh, one area is multi-drug resistance uh, by a single mechanism. This is a pump that exports antibiotics called multi-drug efflux. And our second area is transferable resistance where bacteria can transfer genes between them that confer resistance. We've recently described a clinical isolate of salmonella from a patient who failed treatment with numerous antibiotics. Unfortunately, they died. It was an untreatable infection, where we carried out whole genome sequencing. And this showed us a new mutation in the transporter that pumps out antibiotics. And interestingly, what we found is that this single change in this protein increased the pumping out of a very important class of drugs called fluoroquinolones, but interestingly increased the sensitivity of that same bacterium to other drugs. Now these couldn't have been used clinically, but this now opens the way to understanding how this transporter works and maybe designing new antibiotics that are not going to be exported as much as others. Our research on antibiotic resistant bacteria found in the food chain was particularly important because that was used by several governmental agencies to start assessing the role of antibiotic use in animals and impact upon human health. More latterly, we've also worked on biocide resistance and work from my team and our collaborators was used by the EU to make new legislation for uh, licensing uh, biocides for use and ensuring that studies are done to show they do not confer cross resistance to antibiotics used in human medicine. I really want to discover something that makes a difference. So either a new target for antibiotics or a new molecule that can be developed into a drug, maybe a molecule that inhibits multi-drug efflux. Research allows you to be very creative and so my mind never stops. I'm always thinking of new things, uh, new hypotheses or ways to investigate hypotheses. So there's always a very long to-do list. So I want to get here as soon as I can to really start getting down that list. Uh, there's so much to be done on antibiotic resistance. If we're really going to tackle the crisis, then we have to work very hard at it. Mm -hmm.